Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be connecting with you today, 2017, 2018. I made that mistake earlier today. It's uh, January 5, and it's a Thursday, 2018. And uh, I made that mistake when I wrote a check. You know, I, I know it's 2018, but I still chose the uh, wrong date. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to be adding a little bit to what we did yesterday, uh, continuing to share with you some of the wisdom and teachings from the Tao Science book. And I know it's backwards in your camera, but TAO Science. Not easy to find on Amazon, by the way. You have to kind of look around for it. And this book that just came out about a month or two ago, uh, Bridges Science and spirituality using uh, quantum physics wisdom language and modern day layman terms wisdom and language. And so it's a wonderful uh, necessity unfortunately because there are a good half of the planet that is simply refuses to believe anything until it can be mathed out, until it can be contemplated and validated out in the various ways that that's possible. And so this bridges that gap. And it's a very important bridge because once uh, science can validate uh, energy and matter uh, and soul, bridge the gap between them, then we can move forward as a collective whole. So today I'll be focusing on bridging and sharing with you the wisdom from this book. And I'll do some pontification on that along with you. Uh, and understanding how Tao science looks at the soul. And so it starts with what is Tao science? Well, Tao is the source, a different name for the source, that which is the creation point, origination of all things. So I'm not going to go into the teachings at this moment because we're just beginning the live stream. I have to wait for everyone to gather. But for those that are new and wondering if they should stick around, this is where we're headed today. As always, there will be some uh, blessings that will be offered. And we'll use one of the uh, blessings that are placed within this book to serve you. And if you need to run, you're unable to stick around, then please uh, like and subscribe. You can always come back and watch this on my Facebook stream. And also, if you're so busy that podcast is better or easier for you, by all means, uh, follow the links above. <coughs> and <coughs> excuse me, when you're on my page, uh, my blog is basically a podcast. They run about a week late, but in that way you can keep abreast and be notified because there's like five different podcast players that I connect with, including just receiving it in your email. So you can stay connected with me that way as well. Okay? So that's for those that may have to run, or even those of you that want to hear it a second time. I have actually quite a few students that do like to listen to it a second time because they get deeper aha moments second time around. So how did you enjoy yesterday? Yesterday was a very powerful day in which we worked with some of the wisdom and teachings in here. And I'm going to touch on those again so that it lays a foundation for where we're headed with today's wisdom and teachings. This um, wisdom, by the way, is, is from uh, two, two teachers. This is Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. And uh, he has about 20 books. And then this is Master Rulin, Dr. and Master Rulin, Dr. and uh, Physicist. And I was actually a student of Master Shah's when Master Rulin came into um, this understanding of his spirituality. And I, I got to witness uh, her spiritual growth. And I got to witness the process in which they had written their first book and the second book. So it's an interesting blend of deep spiritual knowledge and uh, physics. And the reason why it's so interesting is because Dr. and Master Ru Lin um, did not have any answers necessarily. The thing about physicists is they search for answers a lot, but it's once every 10 years when a breakthrough occurs. And so the biggest answer in physics that's always looked for is, is a, um, the the gut theory, the grand unification theory. What one comprehension, what one physics theory, math-based theory, can validate and give an answer for everything. 
doesn't matter if it's a worm crawling across the ground or why the star fell or why you know this child will grow eight feet tall and this one will grow four feet tall doesn't matter what the question one physics answer mathematical answer is the answer for all of it it's called the grand unification theory and and the question could be astronomical it could be uh, down to the human level so that has escaped all physicists forever and um, so this is her dream, and as it is any physicist's dream. And so in creating their first and now the second book, uh, that equation has, has been revealed. And uh, it was revealed because of who Master Shaw is. He simply asked the creator, please give me the equation for the grand unification theory. And he received it. He then gave the equation to uh, Master Rulin, the physicist, and she shook her head and said, no, not it. That doesn't make any sense at all. And he said, let me check. And said, yep, God says that's correct. You need to go and do your homework and figure out why it's correct. It took her about two years and a great deal of spiritual practice to receive the necessary guidance to validate it with math. And so now it's, it's proven out in math. Now it's just a matter of, of awakening all the other physicists which usually takes them another 10 or 20 years before they buy in uh, to mathematical models because it has to prove itself out over time. And it will. So this is the second version, and this one is called Tao Science, the science, wisdom, and practice of creation and grand unification. And today I'm going to focus on uh, how does Tao Science define the soul? How does Tao Science uh, look at the soul, its powers, its abilities, and, and how is it looked at from that perspective? And then with that understanding, how can we apply it to our life? Okay, so that's what we're going to be covering today. So in the meantime, uh, welcome Alicia Jade. Great to see you here. Welcome Rianne. Aloha, uh, Kristen Webster. I hope you're going to stay, Kristen. I know you have a busy life. Welcome NNC. Aloha, Nada Nada. Welcome also to Suzanne Rodman. Welcome, M.A. Drade. Aloha. Aloha also to Kristen Rojas. Thank you for being there for me, Kristen, and being such an awesome, unconditional universal servant. Welcome, Shelly Marizzi. Welcome, Johnny. Aloha, Shelly Denny. Another very busy person. Hope you're enjoying your new digs over there in Phoenix. Welcome, Sharon. Welcome also to uh, Janice. And aloha, Angie. Aloha, uh, Kathy Arnold. <coughs> And welcome also Ferdy Cruz and Jatendra. Welcome. Aloha. Aloha to uh, Victor Robin and uh, Shirley Schuster. Welcome. Aloha Larissa. Welcome also to Karen Mahoney. And I think we've got everybody. Katie Nada. Aloha. And welcome also Helena Yakman and Agot. Welcome. Welcome Deborah Anderson. Welcome Kalisto. Welcome also to Missy Dodd and Stephanie Michelle. And aloha, Samantha Brooks and Richie Souter. List got real long there all of a sudden. So I hope I mentioned everybody. If I missed your name, forgive me. Double blessings for those that whose names are not mentioned. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, as always. Uh, for any new people just tuning in for the first time, I've been doing these live streams for over a year, uh, right around this time frame. I chant and uh, a mantra that is a gathering tool, a healing tool, and a method through which we open our hearts and souls and prepare for the wisdom teachings and blessings. So enjoy and let us connect. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently remained, pointed towards heaven. Close our eyes. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of divine Tao source, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Dear all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, Buddhas, bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Namo Amitofu, Kuan Yin, Medicine Buddha, Happy Buddha, Money Buddha, soul of beloved Krishna, Ganesha, all other beings of light, mentioned or unmentioned. Dear the soul of stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, beloved Mother Earth, light side love you and respect you bow down to all of you invite you to please come at this time 
Be with each and every one of us to open our hearts more. You're the soul of Tao science. All the wisdom in this book, and the highest and best um, wisdom and teachings that can be shared through this book, please come at this time. Borrow my mouth, allow me to serve these individuals with this wisdom. You're the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. Transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, respect you. Please turn on. We invite all souls in all universes to please come at this time and to chant with us to offer this unconditional service. So for those that are new, uh, please just enjoy the blessing. Make a silent request. The rest of us, of course, we're receiving blessings. Let us chant to serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me acknowledge whoever else might have shown up. So welcome, Samantha. Welcome, Richie. Aloha, Julia. Welcome. And aloha also to Sublai and Pat. And thank you, Kristen, for posting the information on that source of that song and how people can download it. So some of you have been blessed to have acquired this book called Tao Science. Again, not the easiest book to locate. Um, but uh, you type in Tao Science, type in uh, Master Shah, go to Amazon or Barnes & Nobles, you should be able to locate it. And as indicated, this is the second book in this series. And I want to read to you the foreword on the, the front part here. You know, the thing that people read before they decide to read the book, before they decide to buy the book. And then I'm going to go straight to a section specific to understanding the soul and aspects of that. This says, What is the missing link to unifying spirituality and science? The holy grail of science is the grand unification theory, the theory of everything that completely explains our reality. Albert Einstein and many other renowned scientists have sought this theory to explain all the fundamentalist particles and forces in the universe, how they were created, how they interact with each other, and what their destiny is. I thought that was interesting, how the particles, particles interact and what is the destiny of that particle. However, no one has yet succeeded in this. Why? Spiritual wisdom and scientific wisdom have not found a common language. We can explain spiritual principles scientifically and mathematically. Or can we, excuse me, can we explain? Could it be that spiritual insights and other ancient wisdoms are needed for complete understanding? In the groundbreaking book, renowned spiritual teacher and master, Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha, collaborates with quantum physicist and string theorist, Dr. Rulin Shu, to introduce Tao science. Tao is the source of everyone and everything. Tao science is the science of source and creation. It is a science that tells us what everyone and everything are made of, 
how everyone and everything are created, how everyone and everything interact, and much more. Tao science is the science of grand unification. <laughs> it unifies science with spirituality at the most fundamental level. It unifies everyone, everything, and every aspect of life. This book is eye-opening and mind-expanding. This book will benefit everyone who is willing to use the power of spirit, the power of science, the power of love, the power of the universe, and the power of yourself to transform your life and the lives of others. This book will benefit anyone who truly longs to live in complete love, peace, and harmony, and in alignment with the universal laws and principles revealed in this book. So that's the uh, the preface, or the forward. I guess it's not the forward, what do they call that? And so in this book, there is talk of and placed a calligraphy, one of Master Shah's calligraphies. And curiously enough, there is also explanation of the calligraphy and how it works and why it works. This is important. So this is the calligraphy that was put in this book, and it's called... Uh, Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Shen Qi Jing He Yi. So we're going to start with that. Shen Qi Jing He Yi. What is Shen Qi and Jing He Yi and how is it related to the soul? Well, yesterday, if you missed it, please go back and watch it. Uh, we covered the part that led up to this part. So I'm just going to touch on it a little bit to remind you and tie in the Shen Qi Jing He Yi aspect. Give me a second to find that. Okay, so welcome, uh, let's see who's joined us, welcome Marjo RK, welcome also Crystal, welcome Lucia, welcome June, uh, welcome Criselda and Elizabeth da Cuba, and welcome also uh, anyone else if I missed you. So to touch on and remind you of yesterday, all souls create a field. They literally are a field. Welcome, Rushi. That's called a waveform in physics. So everything creates a waveform. Every speck of matter that is floating around creates a waveform. And the basics of quantum physics, and this is paraphrasing, is that uh, string theory in quantum physics is that every piece of matter interacts with, with the next, thereby the waves interact, creating a very unique condition. Yesterday we spoke about humanity's growth, the first level being survival consciousness, which uh, had, this is the first layer it's referred to, animals, plants, eating each other, survival, marriage, human reproduction, wars, laws, very basic, the, the dog eat dog. The second level of consciousness was referred to as energy consciousness. And these developed practices such as yoga, qigong, kung fu, machines, weaponry, uh, domestication of animals, mining for coal, drilling for oil, cultivating nuclear power, the, the energy phase. The next phase was called the third level of consciousness, and it's been referred to as mind consciousness. So notice the layers, matter, then energy, and then mind. Third layer of consciousness is mind consciousness, and it refers to people using their mind to, um, to improve processes and to control. So people use computers and other instruments to enhance their mind power. They use psychoanalysis, mind control techniques, yoga, meditation, kung fu, qigong, uh, and many other ways to purify and control things at the level of mind. Welcome, Master Janine. Welcome also to uh, Ilana. And welcome, Nels. The fourth level of consciousness that we spoke about yesterday was heart consciousness. And these are layers of awakening, if you will. And it refers to heart consciousness as the heart being the receiver of information. Very different than our mind getting involved and we think things through and make decisions based on mind. Heart becomes the receiver of messages. Um, we invented things like 
to, to receive information, such as telescopes, microscopes. These all give us uh, the reception of information we did not have before. Accelerators, particle detectors, microwave detectors, infrared, ultraviolet spectrometry, gamma ray, MRI, and many other instruments, satellites, space shuttles, and more to receive information. But our heart is actually one of the purest receivers, and we as a human race have not gotten there yet. And the fifth and highest layer of consciousness is called soul consciousness. Recall that soul is the information within us. This is, is spoken of in the book. So soul lives forever. Soul carries the information within us. Master Shah's one sentence secrets from all of his earlier books, even in today's book, when you adjust things at the level of soul first, bring balance to the imbalances at the level of soul first, then that which is beneath it must transform. What is beneath the soul? That's what we're coming to. So the fifth layer of consciousness is soul consciousness, and the soul is the carrier of information within us. So at this stage, we recognize our souls have many miraculous abilities. So when we're truly attuned to the soul, we can recognize we have many miraculous abilities, such as intuition, directly knowing the answers, telepathy, clairvoyance, distance healing, teleportation. How often do you hear that word except on Star Trek? This is a soul ability, the ability to disappear, reappear someplace else, teleportation. Uh, soul guided imagery, seeing things at a distance. All of these are soul potentials. And so now I touch back on this calligraphy to tie some of this together before I move to the next pages. Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Why in a science book would there be a calligraphy that is claimed by Master Sha to bring healing, miracle level healing for some? Um, why is that something like that in a Tao science book? And why is it called Shen Qi Jing He Yi? Well, what was the order of what was just discussed? Shen is soul heart, and mind. Qi is energy, qigong, tai chi. Uh, jing is matter. Shen qi jing is soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. It's just not simply Mandarin Chinese. He yi means becomes one. At the beginning of this live stream, what did I share with you? The grand unification theory is what science has been looking for, the answers for forever. And Master Sha received the mathematical solution. He then gave it to Dr. Rulin and she worked out how to validate it mathematically. What was the mathematical solution? S plus E plus M equals 1. S equals Shen, soul, heart, mind. E equals energy. M equals matter. Shen Qi Jing. He Yi means becomes one. S plus E plus M equals one. So roughly three or four years ago, Master Shah, who knows nothing about physics, received the mathematical formula from heaven, gave it to this physicist and said, figure it out. Heaven tells me this is the, the gut solution. This is the, the theory to, to top all theories, and it has been validated. So the calligraphy was created to literally create in you and me and all energy and matter oneness. Let's go a little further now and discern what is further stated in the book. Let's see, welcome everybody else who might have joined us. Okay, welcome Jennifer. Okay. So I'm on page 54. And again, for those that didn't see it, this is the new book. Okay, it's called Tao Science, The Science, Wisdom, and Practice of Creation and Grand Unification. Welcome Jake. And on page 54, the title to this section, The Miraculous Power of Soul. Through quantum entanglement, what is quantum entanglement? The very, very, very basic. Each energy, each speck of energy and matter puts out a waveform, a vibrational frequency. It's measured. Science can measure that. And when two of them come together, they are entangled. That's what quantum entanglement is, very simply put. 
Okay? So through quantum entanglement, your soul can have instant impact and influence on another. So I put out a wave, you put out a wave, I'm talking to you now on this live stream, we are quantumly entangled. Another simple comprehension. What I'm saying is having some form of impact upon you. Through quantum entanglement, there are many other possibilities. Your soul, for example, can travel from one place to many other places instantly. We know that because we dream. Your soul can be many places all at once. But we don't think we can do that here at the physical level, at least yet. Through quantum entanglement, your soul can know at a distance. It can know something. It can, it, they can, somebody could be 4,000 miles away. You know, a, a mother just instantly knows when that child might be injured. Okay, how is that possible? Quantum entanglement. Their wave, the child's wave and the mother's wave, are entangled. This is because of the soul. This is how Tao science is defining soul. I want you to start linking this. You can affect instantly things at a distance. You can intuit, heal remotely and instantly, communicate instantly, telepathically. You can produce psychokinesis and possess clairvoyance and more. These are soul attributes. Many of us would never have thought to have had these miraculous soul abilities. However, we have all had the experience that we simply know something without anyone ever telling us, right? Every one of you have had that. You just, you just know it. No one, no one told you. You just know it. And of course, it's true. That's a soul connection. You can sometimes notice how your thoughts and feelings affect other people, even when you keep them secret. Have you ever noticed that? This is a deep understanding of the power of your soul. Just thinking something without saying it, and it impacts that person either positively or negatively. Everyone and everything is made of a quantum wave. Again, science. Master Shah says everyone and everything has a soul. So this book is bridging this, this connectivity of this wisdom. Uh, quantum science says everyone and everything has a wave. Okay, that's not necessarily questionable. Virtually all the physicists are on the same page. Yes, we agree, everyone and everything has a wave. Well, everyone and everything is made of particle. And everyone and everything that is made of that particle came from original Tao source creation. Therefore, it carries a soul. What is soul? Soul is the carrier of information. What is a, a wave? A wave is a carrier of information. You starting to link the two? They are, um, therefore, everyone and everything essentially has miraculous spiritual abilities. Now, I read this earlier today, and I had to pause on that. Everyone and everything has miraculous abilities. So you're telling me a piece of sand is a particle, and it emits a wave, which it does, and that wave can be interacted with, with other particles, and that it has the same soul abilities that we're talking about? It can disappear and reappear? The answer is yes, because they have validated it in science under microscopes. They can see matter disappearing and reappearing, disappearing and reappearing, disappearing and reappearing. And this was spoken of in Master Shah's earlier book called Soul Mind Body, uh, Soul Mind Body Medicine, in which he brings forth Dr. Master Guo's theory. Uh, it's called cell theory, and. Uh, uh, cell theory, in the simplest form, says that energy and matter at the cellular level is out of balance. And the, the matter inside the cell converts to energy outside the cell. The energy outside the cell converts back to matter inside the cell. Boom, 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 boom. But when they're not in relative balance, they're, the chi is not flowing between the cells. The chi is not flowing between the organs and systems. Therefore, there is sickness and illness. This was received by Master Guo through his connection with heaven over 40 years ago, and Master Shah brought it forth in his book, Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine, and now it's stated differently and validated out through science. Okay, very powerful information here. If our birthright is comprehended and understood, our birthright being we are a soul and we are more than capable of miraculous uh, abilities, then what do we have to do to reach those miracle layer miraculous abilities. 
We must cultivate our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies. What does cultivate mean? That means realign them and clear the blockages, the karma blockages, which are blockages of positivity and negativity. Okay? So now I'm going to switch over to page 56. Soul power is miraculous. Welcome, Danta, and welcome, Mega Varma, and welcome, uh, Linda Smith Deacons. Soul power is miraculous. It is the power of the 21st century. Soul power is the new cutting edge technology available to everyone and everything. It is critical that we cultivate and utilize soul power to help us achieve healing, prevention of sickness, rejuvenation, and the prolonging of life, peace and harmony to the world in an unprecedented way. People, when they hear the word soul, they rarely associate it to prolonging life, healing, things like that. Those that are watching this, oh yeah, of course. But the vast majority of the world, probably 97% or more, would be like, what? And yet, that's also why yesterday's topic was the soul light era. I went into a layered understanding of the, where we are headed with the soul light era. And that includes the highest levels and layers of healing. So, what are some of the characteristics of the soul? It goes on to say, since 1998, I, Master Shah, have been devoted to training people worldwide to use their soul power and to heal and transform every aspect of their lives. In my Soul Power series of 10 books, including the authority book, The Power of Soul, which is this book here, I referred to it yesterday, Power of Soul. It was written about nine years ago. <clears throat> I teach how to apply the power of soul techniques as simple uh, and profound levels. So what is the power of soul? These are bullet points. I'm going to read them to you. Your soul, the carrier of information, has great wisdom and knowledge. After you open your spiritual communication channels, you will be able to consult with your soul. Can you imagine having a conversation with your soul? Dear my soul, I had an argument with my wife last night and I'm not quite sure how to deal with it. Can you give me some guidance? Oh, well, yeah. You know, this and this and this is what she's thinking, this and this and this is what you need to do. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. You have to open your spiritual channels. That means you have to uh, purify your soul, heart, mind, and body. You will be amazed to learn how much your soul knows. Master Shah goes on to say, your soul is one of your best teachers, consultants, and guides. Think about it, guys. How much knowledge do you have? You have this life's knowledge, 30, 40, 20 years, 50 years. That's it. Your soul has creation knowledge. You just need to be able to tap into it. Your soul is the waveform that has that has never uh, begun and never ended. It is part of the oneness. You, on the other hand, are a physical form, and you will begin and end, begin and end, begin and end, over and over and over. And so the soul has countless wisdom. Your soul has great memory. A soul can remember experiences from all lifetimes. For example, when you travel for the first time someplace, but you're clearly familiar with that place, you may feel like you were there before. Some places may make you happy. Some places may make you scared. This happened when I was about 22 years old. I was driving through um, uh, Orlando. Yeah, Disney World, right? I was driving through Orlando, and I had this huge fear. Get through this town as quickly as possible. You do not want to be here or need to be here. Never had that experience before. Went through it. I'd been back there later. It wasn't an issue. But at that time, it was a very loud message. Your soul has memories of those experiences. Your soul has flexibility. Your soul holds infinite possibilities. Think about it. Your soul is part of original creation. That does mean infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities means not limiting yourself to the 30 or 40 or 50 years of wisdom you currently have. 
So when you start connecting how to open your spiritual channels, how to release the Shen Shi Jing blockages, that's why the calligraphy is in this book, by the way, because it facilitates the releasing of the soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter blockages. These are the karma blockages, the things that we have done that are negative. Master Wu Lin and Master Sha in this book, they speak of positivity. And I'm going to give you a snippet, an uh, overview of it, because it's, it's a little bit mental. So I'm going to encapsulate it a little bit. And in essence, what it says, read the book on your own, by all means, you'll get a much deeper grasp. But in essence, what it says is that if things are following the positive path, then it is an orderly path. It is a path in which everything works out in correct and organic order. Okay? If things follow a negative path, there is disassociation. There is gaps. There is th where things are not connecting, a lack of connection. So negative energies, negative frequencies, negative thoughts, words, and actions create disconnect. Positive energies, thoughts, words, and actions create connection. And this is the scientific way when you look at wave theory and interconnectivity of life. The life itself is a, a positive connection, a natural synergistic flow of positivity. It is the human being that brings negativity into that natural positive connectivity that creates disruption in our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Okay? So hopefully that makes a little sense. Tie it back into the soul. Your soul communication with other souls naturally and constantly. Your soul is always communicating. You, it, you might be walking by somebody at the mall, or a hundred people at the mall, and your soul recognizes a friend's soul on the other side of the mall, and they're like, hey, how you doing? Hey, let's connect. I've got some information to share with you. And you physically connect. You're like, oh my God, I haven't seen you. And then you have that, that wonderful conversation. Well, it's highly likely your soul's connected before you guys did. That's an example of soul communication with other souls that you might not be aware of. Because souls uh, are, again, quantumly entangled, and it has been, again, validated out in science that there is no time and space. Instantly, instantly, instantly. Albert Einstein, his theory said, things can only travel as fast as light. And physicists argued against instant travel, like I'm speaking about now, of soul information. Uh, but it has been proven very recently that Albert Einstein's theory was incorrect, that things are not limited to the speed of light. It is instant. Okay? So all things soul can happen instantly. You may feel there is something special between you and that other person when you feel that love or that soulmate. This is instant. Your soul travels. When you're awake during the day, your soul remains with you. But when you are asleep at night, your soul may travel out of your body naturally. In fact, many souls do this. Where do the souls go? They go where they love to go. Your soul may visit your spiritual teachers to go to learn more. They uh, may visit your old friends who may go to heaven or any other part of the universe. And remember, they can be in many places. They're, they can go there instantly. So welcome, Joanna. Welcome, uh, Janet. And welcome, Adelia. Thank you all for coming, and thank you for sharing. If you're enjoying this, hit the share button letting other people know about this. Your soul has incredible power for healing, including self-healing, healing of others, group healing, and remote healing. Your soul can help and prevent sickness and other challenges in your life. Souls can help you to rejuvenate. Your soul has incredible blessing capabilities. If you encounter, now this is important, if you encounter blockages in your life, simply ask your soul to help you. Whoever thinks of that. No one ever stops and thinks of that, right? Ask your soul to help you. Example. Dear my soul, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please bless my life? Could you help me to overcome my problems and difficulties? Thank you so much. This is called invoking your own body soul. And in this way, anytime, anywhere, your soul can help you and solve your problems, overcome your difficulties. How would that look? That might look like, okay, you do that and you get a little tired and you go to sleep and you wake up and you turn on the computer and there's your answer. You just you know hit Google, did a little searching, boom, there's your answer. Or a phone call comes 
and in that conversation, the information comes that you need to get the answer. Okay? Your soul will be handling things at the level of its creation, at the level of the uh, quantum physics. It's handling things at the level of entanglement. It's untangling the tangles that were caused by negativity. Your soul has that kind of power. Your soul will be delighted to assist you. You could be fascinated and amazed to see the changes in your life. Your soul has incomprehensible potential power. Incomprehensible. Today, I received a, a message from a, one of the students that has a child who has had significant, dramatic, major health issues since birth. And um, it's about five years old now. And this child has had many difficulties, couldn't walk, uh, 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 you know, it's just a, a lot of difficulties. Uh, does not poop on his own, has to take a lot of suppositories, things like that. So what did I do? I asked soul guidance. I didn't have the answer with my head. I asked the soul of this child and his heaven's team to give me guidance. The reason I can hear the guidance is because I've done the job to clear the Shen Chi Jing blockages, the soul, heart, mind level blockages, and always doing that job. So the guidance that comes through appeared to be accurate. When I say appeared to be accurate, I, I told her, your child needs a healing and transmission system for the small intestine and large intestine. Now, this was before I knew anything about this child's intestinal blockages. Um, I'd already offered other blessings and the child had remarkable results. Uh, after the blessings for the for what I was told, it needs a new spinal cord, needs a new nervous system, new brain, okay. We did blessings for that. All of a sudden the child is crawling, moving across the floor when it wouldn't do that before. Or just, you know, a day or two later. That's significant. Uh, that's an example of instant soul transmission, instant effect, soul to soul effect. So I didn't know the child had uh, uh, constipation issues. And of course it's related to brain if you know anything about, you know, the autistic realm and all that. Uh, gastrointestinal issues are directly related to brain. And so, but I didn't know that. So I was asking heaven, okay, what does the child need next? And they said, uh, large and small intestine. So, okay, I did a blessing for large and small intestine. Cleared the Shen Chi Jing blockages. Thank you, Master Shah. Give all credit to Master Shah. I have no, I'm not doing any of this. It's through, through my teacher, Master Shah. He gives credit to heaven. So anyway, I get a text today. She says, since the age of five, my child has always needed suppositories or help to go, to, to go poo poo. Nothing for days. For three days in a row now, normal poo poos. No, I know that's not, maybe not the right subject, saying poo poo, but that's an example of soul power. How is this possible? Quantum entanglement. We are all quantumly entangled. Uh, we are all affecting each other, positive and negative energies. So the blessings that I'm able to offer through the power that Master Shah has, has blessed me with gives me the ability to be a vessel through which heaven's positive frequencies can come through, clear the negative frequencies on this child that we're creating these problems, and we see a physical world result. Heal the soul first, and the mind and body follows. Why did it work? Did I, did I, was I the, the vessel through which blessings were given to the body? No. I was the vessel through which the blessings went to the soul, the carrier of the information, the carrier of the negativity. And that negativity uh, from, from, from wrong choices, thoughts, words, and actions in previous lifetimes had been on this child's soul. Okay, the soul carried this information. And that negativity manifest in this physical body of this child in this life, creating significant health issues for this child. How do you clear that? You, you receive, you know, the Tao blessings that Master Shah and his worldwide representatives and, and the healers can offer. But, so I became a vessel to offer that, but the blessing was not to his soul, it, excuse me, to his body. It was to the soul level. Positivity comes through, wipes away the negativity, therefore the body had no choice but to reflect the change that occurred at the soul level. So I'm saying the same thing I said six months ago, eight months ago, a year ago. I'm repeating the same thing Master Shah has said. I'm just using Tao science to explain it a little differently. So you have a different take on it. 
Thank you, Katie. I, I'm very grateful for that, um, uh, those positive comments. Okay. Many souls yearn to be enlightened. To reach ultimate soul enlightenment is to become totally quantum entangled with everyone and everything. Wow. To reach ultimate soul enlightenment is to be quantumly entangled with everything. Now, just the word saying quantum entanglement makes my head kind of spin. I'm not a science guru by any stretch of the imagination. But when we say, you know, to return to the sources to become one with everything. Okay, I get that. My brain can wrap itself around that. To be, become one with everything, you are the highest enlightened. Well, science would say, when you're putting out a wave and everyone's putting out their wave and your wave honors and accepts everybody's wave, everybody's stuff, all their judgments, all their criticisms, all their pain, all their love, there's no judgment. What does is, what is our beloved Jesus, what does our beloved Buddha do? They say, offer unconditional love. Turn that other cheek. Do not judge. Be the pure light. That's Science is saying that's when your wave completely uh, aligns and it is with every other wave without any negativity whatsoever. That's also a layer of enlightenment. There are three layers of enlightenment. B uh, body, excuse me, soul enlightenment, mind en heart enlightenment, mind enlightenment, body enlightenment. We just covered this in a different way. Uh, this talks about humanity going through layers. We're not at the heart awakening, the heart consciousness yet, right? Um, what is soul, heart, mind, body enlightenment? Soul enlightenment is what everyone knows about or hears about, but it's actually just the first layer of enlightenment. Heart enlightenment is when we're free of the jealousies and free of the need to selfishly take care of ourselves. What is mind enlightenment? completely free of negativity not a negative thought not even one just like the monk on the mountain that's got a, a silly grin on his face that comprehends everything okay nothing can bother him tidal wave comes on him he's fine car wants to run him over okay no problem when we're in that kind of a place we are fully quantumly entangled we can disappear and reappear these are the potential possibilities of the soul validated out through quantum physics and science. Pretty amazing. So I thank you all for mentioning my name, but please, if you're going to mention my name that I served you, please make sure you mention Master Shah's name because it is his soul that came to earth, a very great being that didn't need to be here, that became the vessel through which this kind of blessing occurs. He then transferred those powers, uh, some of those powers through me for which I can serve you. Okay. Thank you. So now let's receive a blessing, shall we? If you are interested, by the way, I'll do a, a little plug here for my upcoming uh, classes. I'm doing a uh, opening spiritual channels class February 5 for 12 weeks. Uh, there's an advanced spiritual channels class after that for those that are, you know, studied with Master Shaw for many, many years. Um, you have to be pretty knowledgeable and, and with his product and, and subject matter to take the advanced open spiritual channels class. But um, February 5, I'm starting the 12 week open spiritual channels. And there are a lot of people that are on today that have had very uh, life changing uh, shifts in their life. And they didn't come in to change their health of their life uh, or their emotional or mental capacities. They came in to open their spiritual channels, but they received the others along with the opening and the continued gradual opening of their spiritual channels. So if that's of interest, go to my uh, my web page, uh, homepage, asohealer.com. Kristen is, is pretty good about posting these things. And um, uh, you go to about three quarters of the way down, you'll see the, the link there to learn more about it. Okay, so let's receive a blessing here. Master Shah, one of the great things I appreciate about him is he knows that he can't simply come here and, and heal seven billion people. Uh, he just is not enough of him to go around. And so what he has done is he's taken some of these higher frequencies, the higher positive energies that offset the lower negative frequency. All right. So it stopped there for a minute. So give me a second. I'm going to make sure there's no blockages on the phone so I can give you this blessing. Special. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kristen, for posting that link in your, uh, in your chat box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace on your behalf this calligraphy, Shen Qi Jing and Her Yi. I will invoke the soul of this calligraphy and the countless blessings placed within to come to serve you. This will be for uh, exactly what this is called. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter become one. You can make an individual request, you just request to heaven, that you would like a blessing for a specific area of your body, and then this has the intelligence to offer that blessing that you're requesting. If you're not like a, if you don't have a specific request, then you can just say as appropriate whatever I need most. Okay, and that is the blessing that will come to you as appropriate. So Master Shaw always suggests the four power techniques. So sit up straight and prepare to receive. Bring your back away from the back of the chair, feet flat on the floor, unless you enjoy a lotus position. That's okay. Close your eyes and bring your thoughts and your mind and your breath into your lower abdomen. I'm going to walk you through a quick connection practice and um, a quick forgiveness practice and then I'll deliver this blessing. <clears throat> so if comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name. I am so grateful for you sending different messengers to humanity to help awaken my soul more and more, to help me to remember my soul, its power, and my greater service to humanity. Dear all souls, I sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have offered unpleasant, negative thoughts, words, and actions towards you, your loved ones, or your ancestors. I understand that simply to apologize is not enough, that I must do positive things, like helping others to be happy and healthy. And I will do that more and more. I ask your unconditional forgiveness so that I can more easily accomplish this very uh, positive task. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of the calligraphy, Shen Qi Jing He Yi, the countless blessings within the calligraphy, and Master Shah's Tao Science book. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. As Master Paul traces on my behalf, can you please come to me and offer me a blessing for, and then state what you'd like a blessing for. I am very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? So now prepare to receive, and I will chant at the same time as I am delivering this blessing on behalf of Master Shah's book. Prepare to receive. And pay attention. If you have third eye, pay attention to the images uh, or any sensations you might be feeling. Shen Qi Jing He Yi, Shen Qi Jing He Yi, Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Shen Qi Jing He Yi, 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 Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Shen Qi Jing He Yi, 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 Shen Qi Jing. 
金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一。Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter becomes one. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter becomes one. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter becomes one. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter becomes one. 神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一。神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一。神奇金合一，神奇金合一。Thirty more seconds. 神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一。神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一，神奇金合一。神奇金合一，神奇金合一。And now, offer your gratitude. Thank you, Divine Tao and Source. Thank you, Master Sha. Thank you, Master Lin. Thank you, the Soul of Tao Science, and the Soul of the Shen Qi Jing He Yi Calligraphy, the countless blessings within. For this blessing, I am extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So please share if you noticed anything, any vibrations, any sensations. If you had something that was measurable, uh, what, what what was the issue? What was the number before? What's the number now? Uh, you can also share、um, any visions or third eye that you had seen. So welcome.、Uh, Sitabisu, welcome also to Erica. Welcome,、uh, Rushi. Aloha, Ilona. Welcome, Jim. And aloha, Deborah Miller. Oh, Loveness Mother, great! Thank you so much for joining. Okay, and aloha, Master Allen. Welcome, Lisa Belavance. Okay, so Andrea says that makes sense. Learning to write in traditional Chinese styles, they use tones. Now I never took the time to think. Yeah,、uh, Master Shah's Dao calligraphy is pretty astounding, and you know you, what you chant is what you become. So to chant, soul, heart, mind, body, energy, and matter become one.、Uh, that's what you become. Larissa says, "Thank you, thank you, thank you. Powerful soul healing. Thank you, Master Shah."、Uh, Shelly says her mouth kept filling up with saliva, and she still sees an eye. So, for those that are not familiar with what that means, and the saliva is two invisible holes underneath the tongue, 
that heaven's liquid comes in and Mother Earth's liquid comes in. It's called Jinjin Yuli Tian Yi Jin Shui, which is heaven liquid, jade liquid, gold liquid, jade liquid. And it's basically um, food for the soul, food for your human body. And you swallow it down consciously to your lower abdomen and literally it will start fulfilling your energy body. So it's very, uh, very good that that was happening for you. Um, so Richie, you missed the blessing. Make sure you go back in and feel it. Angie said she felt heat throughout her body and head and also a tightening across the back of her rib area began behind the heart and a bit lower. Uh, this is the second soul house clearing occurred. Um, probably closer to third soul house, actually. Um, and so Janet says, tingles over her body, feeling guilty about something she asked for for forgiveness and ask for help to do better. Wonderful. Always good to ask forgiveness. Uh, Katie saw a single white lightning bolt straight from source coming right down and through her. Whoa. Beautiful. Thank you, Heaven. And Joanna, she was also sending love to a loved one during this time and picturing positive visions. Excellent. Okay. Cool tingles again, says Kristen Strachan. Okay, so thank you all for sharing. I'm happy that you had some experience. It was a bit of a short blessing. Uh, I apologize for that. I'll try to leave more time for a little bit longer blessing next time. And I am very grateful to Master Shah and Master Rulin for bringing this wisdom to humanity. So, uh, again, if you came in late, you can like and subscribe. Come back and watch this after the fact. Uh, if you subscribe, then you'll know when I go on live streams. If you're interested in the Open Spiritual Channels class, then look at Kristen, Strachan, or Kristen Rojas's chat. She has put the link in there. Also, you can find it on my website on the home page. <clears throat> and I'd like to thank all of you. Uh, is it uh, Thursday? It is. That means it's my last day this week to, uh, to serve you. I will be back on Monday, and I look forward to serving you then. If you need to get a hold of me, my information is listed again. Kristen, thank you for posting that. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all the beings of light who have come. Please respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. We'll see you soon.